back to the quattro okay that's about all the work that needs to be done inside of it um, the linings which are the gluing edges for the back and the top they've been replaced solid ones on the back and these separate little ones between the sides of the top um, they're a lot more regular even and more glue in place than the original ones were and the better fitted so it'll be stronger i've put small side braces across the side to strengthen it because it's had a couple of cracks in its face hopefully should ensure against anything getting worse are these here and here as well those ones the darker wood side braces these ones yeah yeah they're the, ones. They're the, they're the pieces i've put in uh -huh. to reinforce it because there's, there's some cracking on the side which has been repaired in the past so it's to ensure against that getting any worse the other thing i've done is to take out the quite crude two braces that were in there and make some spruce ones to go in um, and then put some fan bracing in there and some reinforcement around the sound hole because that tends to be a weak area the fan bracing is, isn't really to do with uh, strengthening it at all because they're very small it's more to do with getting the top to sort of work more efficiently than it would, would do otherwise without any bracing at all the top just tends to flop around a bit as the strings are pushing it with bracing on it it tends to sort of direct the, the tension of the strings more evenly across the top so that's about all the insides done all we've got to do now is cut a couple of notches in the side linings that will take these back braces I've put on then the back can go back on and then we have to go into the other side of it and what we need to do here is look at the fretting first these fret slots aren't too accurate um, so I'll clean these slots out put some veneer in to make it solid and true it up and re measure all the, the, the scale length that I want and put some veneer on the front of the Cedrilla <coughs> neck and slot it for the new frets. What will you make the veneer out of? I've got some up there, I've got some Brazilian rosewood. You see I've got some, quite a bit of this. Just, I've got some bigger pieces that will go on there. Um, it's a very nice colour isn't it? Yeah, very pretty. Up, that'll come a very rich when it's been lacquered. And I may well do the the guard across the front mm -hmm. with the same stuff to match it. Um, if, the, sorry, yeah. well, I was going to ask you about that. There was that unusual nut that you mentioned. So yeah, that. I'm, I'm going to. The nut was cut very, very deep into the neck. So all I've done is slice it off flush with the fingerboard, and I'm going to leave all that in there and just have my fingerboard running over the top of it and put a very small shallow nut at the back that was so deep that if I'd taken it out it would have left mm -hmm. it would have been quite weak in there so I've left that piece of wood in there and I'll put another smaller one at the end of it that in effect will make the scale length slightly longer which will mean that the frets that I put in won't come across any of these old slots which is an asset which is good one thing about quattros like this this is all made of cedrella neck sides back top everything is cedrella um, cedrella is a very common wood in south america and it's very cheap and easy to get which is why you see it used so much in instruments which aren't of a particularly high grade it's fine for the neck and the back and the sides it's not the greatest wood you can find for the top so this has got a, a drawback it's a it's a cedrella top it's going to be okay but it wouldn't be as good as if it had been a spruce top which i would have if i had a choice put a spruce top on but i'm not going to do that for this one we're going to go that far the bridge i will probably either make a new one or remodel this one to make it like a classical guitar bridge instead of the original style which is like a lute bridge which i'll show you which is simply a piece of wood with four holes drilled through it and the strings carry through, come around over the top and wrap around the, at this edge 
and that stops that's the end of the speaking length of the string it's the simplest way to do it it's not the best way so I'll either remodel this one so it'll have a separate little saddle slot or I'll make another one I'll see how I feel uh, I'll probably make another one um, see you next time